Hey, this is Jenny Jones, Digital Growth Hacks Club. All right, so listen, I want to put a tool in front of you um, that you may not be aware of, or you may be aware of it. You probably just wanted to know a little bit more information on it, or you wanted to see it in action. Now, if this is your first time to this channel, please go ahead and like, subscribe. I'm always showing you these different hacks, putting different tools together. This is one I'm going to show you three different tools that... Um, I've purchased in the past from AppSumo and I'm now putting them together and they're actually all working together. Now, what I have in front of you um, is a tool called StoryPress. Um, they were at AppSumo. Hopefully you got StoryPress and hopefully you double stacked it. I don't think it was that much, but they give you the unlimited, uh, they gave you unlimited blogs. I love this tool because it's so easy to use and deploy your uh, blogs. I mean, an instant, it's like, a microwave for blogs. So anyway, there may be a link in the description for that. There may not. I don't know. I definitely don't think they're going to do any more um, LTDs. Um, this company was featured. The founders are featured in Asia for the top in the Forbes for 30 under 30. So these guys are really doing it. StoryPress again. There may be a link in there for that. There may not. I don't know. I just can't make any promises. But what I wanted to show you was how I'm. And, and if you don't know me, if you've been following me, I've been following a lot in love with using blogs a lot more and utilizing um, uh, blogs in conjunction and then tying them in with YouTube and trying to get trying to use the number one search tool in the world, which is Google tying it in with the number two search uh, engine in the world, uh, which is YouTube. So I've been tying them together. But what I've been missing is trying to move my blogs up or move and create SEO opportunity. So I wanted to give you a background on what I've been using and what I've been trying to look at. So, so again, this is this is an article that I wrote on eBooks, right? But what I wanted to do was start. I ran it in a tool called um, SEO Crawl, which is a tool that was on AppSumo in the past. It may or may not come back. I don't know if it's even there. I don't even know if I have an affiliate link for it. But it's pretty good at giving you. Uh, an analysis of your tools or how it's doing in the SEO traffic. And it gives you, this is the indexability, meaning that hey, 80, it has 88% indexability. Uh, there's no errors, there's four warnings, and it passed 26 audits. This is pretty good. And I wrote all of this, uh, I used a couple of tools to put my article together and I refined it, tightened it up really good. If you haven't, I've used Nuon Writer and I use a, use a couple of, I'm definitely gonna put a link in Nuon Writer in there for this one because that one helped me put this particular audit this particular particular article together and it made it really crisp and sound so i did use nuon writer with that i'll put a link in there for that if you're trying to get a pretty good seo writing tool so i dropped it in there and it it got a pretty good health uh rating for that in here as well now there are some warnings in here i'm going to go and tighten up i just wanted to give you for the reference of what it is that I want to show you today. So I actually use that. And then I use it with another tool that I got from AppSumo some time ago. I think this tool is still there as well. I think this is a good tool. But each one of these tools do something different. So this is the report that I did on my actual link. And it's telling me, hey, you have two warnings, six suggestions, and passed six different tests. So this is checking that article. The page title is too long. The funny thing about that is it uh, all of them are telling me the page title is too long. That's a warning. So I'm going to go in and tighten that up a little bit. One image do not have an alt text. I'm telling I have to do that as well. So this is giving me another 40,000 foot view. So this is the traffic in the keywords from this particular um, article that I wrote um page speed so on and so forth right so what i wanted you to see was both are giving me um uh, they're both giving me both the crawl at the seo crawl and the site guru they're both giving me these a forty thousand foot view of what i can do and um to make the article better but there's one tool that going down and getting and reading every single part of everything inside the html uh tags um, and that tool is called text focus, right? And that's the new tool that they have at AppSumo. I don't know how much love it's getting, maybe 2023. 
uh, reviews on it so far. Um, I think most people for the most part is liking it. But what I like about what this tool, again, I have these other two tools. They're giving me a 40,000 foot view, telling me, hey, um, there's some insights, there's some other ways you can look at it, there's some opportunities uh, that you should be looking at for your keywords. But what Text Focus is doing is Text Focus is going in and it's researching and it's, and it's doing what's called uh, a semantic, uh, semantic type of score, going in, lifting the hood, looking at your HTML, and the, it's giving me some words that I should be using at least once or twice, right? And it's telling me the frequency of these words that I need to be adding to my particular article. I have not seen this. Um, I think they may, some of the other tools may tell me, hey, these are some words you should look at. And it's using my search console, letting me know how much traffic I'm getting. But it's only one tool that I've seen. Uh, so far, and there's probably some other tools that are out there that is saying, hey, we're going and we're telling you these are the, the words that you're using, right? They're saying, hey, you're using ebook 6.5% 6 of the time. So once I get it out of my Nuon writer, drop it in, put it in on my uh, story press, um, taking it through the ringer, this is what this particular tool is telling me that I need to do. It says, hey, you know what? Your semantic score because this semantic score is what they're actually using. Um, there's a lot of things they're using to analyze Google or the crawlers are using, but semantic score is definitely one of them that they're using to, to determine if they should deliver your articles or your, your Google or not, or your Google ad, I mean, your Google um, um, topics and or, and or, um, types of writings that you're doing. So what it also does is it say, hey, this is the SEO analysis of this page. It's getting a 67 out of 100 and saying, hey, go back. The search volume for this keyword is, you know, 49,500 monthly searches on average. That's This is a very good keyword to research, but it's saying go and it's telling me here the length of the URL is too long. They've already told me that. But this is going down in the nitty gritty and telling me the percentage of relevant words is a bit too small. You know, they're doing, hey, words or the text to code ratio on this page is a bit low, but don't focus on it. So they're telling you some different things, the, uh, the page title hierarchy and so on and forth for main optimized lexical fields of the, of the page. They're going in and they're telling you and they're doing almost like the DNA of the breakout. And then what they're going here, they're saying, hey, these are the relevant, um, the relevant main keywords and presence and tags. And they're letting me know ebook may be a little overutilized in this sense. As you can see that here, when we go here, an ebook is being used 6.5% out of all the other words that I'm using to write ebook for beginners. Now I can go back and look at my new on writer. It'll tell me, hey, you're using ebook the word ebook too much, right? But they're basically letting me know, hey, you're using a little bit too much here. The SEO score here is telling me it's calculated on, uh, to the location of the words, the tags, and it's frequent modernization, right? So it's doing another breakdown, a healthy breakdown of words that I can probably add or pepper in and out. And again, so that's basically what this is doing. Um, it's telling me my outbound links. What are the outbound links that I'm using? Are those good links? So on and so forth. They're letting me know about my pictures that I'm using. Um, it's letting me know the performance, right? Hey, this is how it's performing on mobile and all that. So I just wanted to, to, to didn't want to hold you long. I just wanted to let you know how this was different, how some of the other tools that you're using, how this may be a little bit different. And um, so this is only one element of it and you can scan any page um, and it'll look at it. And like you may have a competitor's page, you can go in and look at that competitor's page and see how it's doing. Why is it ranking so high? You can use your, if you go to your uh, Nuon writer and it gives you a list of competitors, you might see how it's doing very well. Drop that competitor's page in here and scan it because what this is gonna do, it's gonna go in and look underneath the hood of that page of the HTML that it's pulling and why is it being pulled so frequently? So I think this is a good tool. Of course, obviously you can use my link if you wanna pick it up, if I've introduced it to you. It helps me keep the channel going. I mean, I probably make enough to get 
I don't know, maybe a Starbucks or maybe, I don't know, a couple of cold drinks at the uh, the local um, 7-Eleven, maybe a Slurpee or something. I don't make that much, but I do appreciate the fact that you actually do use them. Uh, those who are using them, I appreciate that. Those of you who are members of my channel to help me a lot to continue to keep putting this out. Thank you. But again, this is a semantic score. If you look up semantic score, it will tell you. Let's do a quick, and a lot of people are like, what does that mean? Some people don't know. Let's do a quick lookup of semantic score. Let's take a look at it in action. So we're gonna go here. I'm gonna copy this word, semantic score. I'm gonna copy it there. Not only am I gonna copy it there, I'm then going to use my other tool here, right? And I'm gonna, um, what do you want me to do with the selected text? Ah, I pulled this tool out on you guys, right? So this tool I think is, is being used. Uh, what is it? What does it mean? I just copied it and I say, hey, what does this mean, right? And I just hit the, um, I just hit my little quick research tool there and it's telling me the term semantic score refers to a measure of numerical value that represents the degree of semantic sim similarity or relatedness between two pieces of the text. So that's how when you're using AI to write for you and all that, that's how it's determining is it relevant to the piece that you're writing when we send someone to your page is it relevant to what they're looking for the higher the semantic score the closer the text are in terms of their meaning and context right it is commonly used in natural language processing and information retrieval tasks to quality a level of semantic overlap between words sentences and documents so are you putting out a whole bunch of gibberish on a page or maybe your AI put out a whole bunch of gibberish for you. Um, but what this is doing, this is actually doing. So you like the way I kind of use it. I mix in another tool. You guys are getting all these tools. This is the Viola, uh, V O I L A. That's the Viola tool in action. So I basically use it. I just highlighted the word, pulled up the actual, uh, plugin. I just clicked on it and then it says, Hey, what do you want to know about it? I say, Hey, what does this mean? Right, and so that's there. I'm, I'm even throw Viola in there as well. So Viola is a tool that I use um, to, to quickly try to research things as well. So again, this has been Jenny Jones. I've talked to you about four different tools, uh, five. I talked to you about StoryPress, which is probably one of the best blog writing. This is a blog writing machine, right? I don't know if they're ever coming back to an LTD community. They are doing so well on their own. So I've, I've, there probably will be an affiliate link in there for them if you want to pick that up. Um, I talked about SEO crawl, which does a lot of visibility of your page, helps your SEO search console. You connect it with that and it allows you to, to do a deeper analysis on your type of index indexability. Is it researchable? How's it doing? I also use another tool called Site Guru, which is pretty good. So what I like about Site Guru is if they find an accident on your page, they're gonna do a good breakdown. They're gonna show you what it means. They're gonna tell you what the error is. Hey, this is not good meta tags. This is what meta tags mean, right? So Site Guru, I'll even put a link in there for that. I think that's on LTD. And this is definitely on LTD. Text Focus is on LTD. I wanna say it's 69, 79. Let's take a look at it here. It's 89, so it's 89. It analyzes the HTML code and text on a page to deduct relevant content in the eyes of the search engine. It's basically a search engine underneath the search engine for different uh, pages. And it's, you can definitely use it on your competitor's page if you got a good link, or you can use it on your own page to improve the writing process for that. It analyzes what is your page about right these other tools they don't do that they don't tell you that right they don't do that um it's a complimentary tool if you want to add it to your toolbox you definitely can do that um what are the plans again it has a natural language processing there uh that's the kind of search that it's doing uh i just i don't i'm not going to use it that much i'm going to use it as a complimentary piece i got a plan one i may get a plan two before they leave, but the credits are pretty fair. I, I used it twice already, and I'm down to 744 credits. So I, I started at 750, I'm down to 744, and I've only used it twice. So it depends on your usage. I don't think this is a complimentary tool. It's not a tool that I'll build my business around, so I don't necessarily need a lot for that. 
but it's definitely a good tool to have in your toolbox. Only 89 bucks. It's definitely worn for at least for one tool pickup there. Um, what are people saying about it? Um, you know, they're, they're saying, hey, take an x-ray of a web page. That's basically what it does. It looks and features everything within those HTML tags. It's definitely looking at it. I think this warrants at least one token. If you do a lot of SEO, um, this is doing some different stuff and it's very nice. And I think for relatively what it cost on their page, this is a steal by any means. This is a steal. All right. So again, this has been Jenny Jones, Digital Growth Hacks Club. I'm always just breaking down these different tools allowing you guys to look at it. Um, please uh, go ahead and subscribe, share the link if you want. Hope you guys are doing well. You guys take care for now. Goodbye.